I'm also very excited to find something out from you, Mr. Mapognani. Can you tell me how you broke your jaw? <laughs> Gee. It's, it's, in fact, it's so interesting that uh, I can even remember all the details. It was on the 28th of February, 1987, 28 minutes past three. <laughs> What happened is we played against Morocco Swallows and uh, I had this season where I planned to be a top goal scorer. And in two months, two months into the uh, season, I had already scored seven goals and obviously my target was 27. And we played against Swallows. The coach told the defender to stop me from scoring and he forgot to tell him how. And the ball was playing 60 meters away from us on the other half. The assistant referees and the referee and everyone was watching the action on the other side. And I just got. And obviously the defender knew that he's going to be in for it in the change room. And as the focus was on the other side, he just caught me with a fist across my face. And I broke my jaw in three sections. That was the most painful moment of my life in this beautiful game. Nothing was beautiful at that moment. I was rushed to hospital and uh, got to hospital. The doctor said, x-rays reveal broken jaws, three section. Mr. Mapanyani, we are fully booked. Can you come back on Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> I was in tears. I mean, you go home on a Saturday night after the game, Sun Saturday the whole night and the Sunday the whole day, you're just sitting upright in the chair because your teeth are all over the show. <laughs> And then on Monday morning, fortunately, the family whom I was communicating with through uh, writing said, we finally got a doctor that can help you, a fascia maxilla somewhere. And that uh, doctor said he must be here first thing in the morning. He shouldn't have gone home. I got to the hospital, got local anesthetic. I was just flat, didn't know what day it was. And I woke up a day later and uh, I was wired tight throughout. Like three, four months with uh, wires right on. I couldn't eat. I was as thin as a rake and I was craving for food. And guess what? The beautiful Casa Chiefs fans that I always like. They said, we're sorry about what happened. They brought fruit baskets. Beautiful <laughs> yellow bananas. <up. laughs> <laughs> How will I get into this? Uh, I can't uh. munch this. You know? <laughs>